Good morning, everyone. Um, I'm uh, Ashod Nakashian, and uh, I also go by Ash. So uh, this this talk is going to be um, there is going to be a little bit about um, um, tiles, essentially, and um, tiles in, in online, um, calc specific bits, and rendering in in uh, LibreOffice uh, in general. So um, hopefully a little bit for uh, for everyone. Um, so. Just a quick overview. I'm going to give a quick, quick in introduction as to you know wh wh what is tile rendering in general, and yeah, what problem um, I was I was uh, trying to solve, and how I went about solving it, and then um, just thoughts uh, for for a, 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 a long-term better solution. Um, so quickly, the um, the rendering in in desktop is obvious to everybody because we don't think about it. It just works, okay? So this is just a desktop version. This is a spreadsheet. Um, it, has a, it has images in it and um, a couple of buttons. It has some cells with background. Nothing fancy. There is, you see there is a selection there. We're, we're going to get back to that. This is the same thing in, um, online. So this is in the browser. And what, what actually is happening here is that highlighted area is, in fact, um, an image that shows part of the spreadsheet. Um, so the browser is, is, it doesn't know what's going on, except it just has a, you know, um, a matrix of uh, um, PNGs just stacked you know, next to each other. And, and you can see it's just a, a random uh, place in the spreadsheet. There is, there is no um, clear boundaries as to where things start, which is distinctly different from what is happening on the desktop, where you see the selection is actually cleanly on the uh, cell boundaries. Okay, so this is what happened when we tried to figure out why, why do we have a slow performance. Um, whenever you go to a, a large spreadsheet, you, you see that your, your tiles are getting slower and slower to come back um, until you, you actually hit a, a place where you, you actually have to wait, um, you know, tens of seconds uh, at the you know, lower rows. So clearly something is wrong. Let's go back to the desktop and see how it's performing. Okay, this, this looks much better. It's pretty much uh, you know, same um, and rather snappy too. Okay, so what is going on? The desktop, it seems to be you know, fast because you know, it, it just doesn't need to worry about alignment. You, you just scroll and, and you're, you're cleanly on a column uh, boundary. That's, that's good, that helps. Um, and you're only rendering the visible stuff, obvious, right? Well, why we, wouldn't you? Um, and it actually has a streamlined version. We'll see what that means um, because we need to compare it to what, what's going on with the, um, the tiled version on online. Um, this, is, this is roughly what's going on on the desktop, okay? So imagine that selection is, is your view. So if you... If you zoom in or if you scroll and you, you have a, a bunch of cells visible on your, um, on, on your window, um, and that's what you, you really want to render. And internally, what is happening is you get the offset and you actually have two offsets. There is, there is the, the, the offset um, of the, the corner of your first cell, the top left corner, right? And you potentially could have an offset within that cell. On desktop, you can't do that. You, you can't really scroll to a, you know, the middle of, of, of a column. So they are identical. Um, so the origin that I, that I point to is negative, in this case, relative to your rendering area. And your rendering area starts at, at the um, screen X and screen Y coordinates. Okay. So it, it, it seems straightforward. Now, why is it the tile rendering going on slowly? Because, you know, we really need to apparently um, render everything from the zero, zero origin, which is the, the left topmost um, pixel essentially in, in the spreadsheet, in, in that um, document. And that, that gives you the linear progression that we've seen. So, the, the further you are from that origin, the bigger an area you need to render and then throw away all that work. Okay, so some, something clearly is, is very wrong here and we need to fix it. And, and this is what we 
try to do. Um, here's an approach. Um, why don't we just do you know, something similar to what desktop is doing? Just render whatever you really need to uh, show on the screen. And to do that, just figure out what your actual offset is. And you actually need two offsets, because remember, for tile rendering, you, you can, the tile can start at any random place in the, in, the, in the spreadsheet. So you don't have a clean boundary. So you need two offsets. You need to figure out what is the, 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 the column and row um, that you need to, to, to render first. Okay, that's the first visible row, first visible column, going from top to bottom and, and left to right. And then you need to figure out your offset in, in pixels, in this case, within, within those um, you know, row and, and column boundaries. Okay, and, and that's it. You just need to render, essentially, all these cells and then cut the, um, the part that you're interested in, and that's your uh, PNG image that then you send to the browser. Okay, so we do that, and this is what we get. We, this is a tile, and this tile is supposedly, you know, the, the part where there's a button, right? But we don't get the button. So now we're, we're okay, it, but it's fast, right? Because you're not rendering any, anything more than you need. So, right, you, you just gave it the offsets, and it's rendering, and everything is fine. And here's another tile. Here there was supposed to be another image. So you're not getting your images, and you're not getting your... Um, the, the buttons or the, you know whatever is embedded, okay. So okay, we have more work to do. Um, so what is what is the problem? The problem is that the when you're rendering, you actually are rendering in layers, right? So you you do your your background first, and then you draw the cell boundaries that that grid that we see, and then you do the cell backgrounds, the those yellow ones that we had with the cell merge. And then when you're done with that, you do the text, and then you do the, um, the buttons and images and so on. Okay, so, so you have, a, you, have a, 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 you know, a layered approach, and, and what is happening is that these um, um, rendering um, um, implementations, each they have their own coordinate system, essentially. And um, for the desktop, that's fine because everything is streamlined. So all the, these um, layers, they all know what um, what the what the coordinates that they that they need are, and and they do the conversions, and you know it's been debugged and and you know well maintained or not maintained, it really doesn't matter at this point because it is working. But for for the, for online, um, we need a different approach because we are rendering on a virtual device. Everything is in pixels. We we don't we don't really have any choice. It's just a, it's just an image. And so everything is in, is in uh, pixel coordinates. So we need to make sure that all these stages, they're using the pixel coordinates. And to do that, we need to um, uh, add logic that says, am I in the tile rendering mode? If yes, then, okay, change my coordinate into pixels and you know, scale things differently and so on. So we have special cases for tile rendering. And that's where the problem is coming from, because our special cases don't take into account um, you know, that you're drawing a, a bitmap now or you're drawing a button or something else. So that seems to be the problem. And the solution is that you render everything from the 0, 0 chord, uh, origin. So you end up rendering everything. Um, you make sure everything shows on your screen, but it's extremely slow. So, you, so we really need to go and fix the problem of, of the coordinates so that we get the, the, um, the elements that we have on, on in, the, in, in the document itself, okay? So it's, it's a special handling that's the problem. And, and so how do we do that? We do that using the map mode. Um, anyone who had the, um, the, the privilege and pleasure of actually looking at the, the rendering logic would know what I'm talking about. This is, this is a magic class, right? This, this guy... Um, is responsible for storing and converting your coordinates. So you um, assign a map mode to your device, and the map mode is, it holds the, um, uh, the scale, essentially, of things. It holds the unit that you're, you're, that you're dealing with, and it, it, it actually does a conversion between logical and physical. Okay? And 
it has essentially it has you know it, it has a support by simply um, uh, by simply being assigned to the device and every every rendering implementation it calls essentially you know logic um, to physical and you you convert the coordinates and then it does this, the, the, the correct thing so it is it is pervasively everywhere in the code Every, all the rendering logic depends on it so so if you don't have the correct uh, parameters here everything goes to um, to hell essentially nothing works okay so this is the this is the the, the situation that that I'm describing um, you end up with a, a system where instead of having a perfect coordinate system, okay, um, you end up having multiple coordinate systems and you need to convert between them. But to do that, you need to make sure that you know what coordinate system you're in and what you need to transition to. And that code needs to know what it is expecting, right, before, before it does the conversion. Otherwise, nothing would work. Um, and the way it breaks, it breaks like that. The, the things just show up in the wrong place or things don't show up at all. So this is what we have. We have essentially a bunch of different units that we're using and all the time there's conversions going on. The pixel one is what the, 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 um, the, the tiled rendering uh, wants. Um, TWIPS is what is used in many, many places. But in reality, we want to really go to the hundredth millimeter uh, approach, which, which seems to be a, a low enough uh, a denominator that it should work for pretty much everything. Okay, but it, it actually gets worse. Um, you can have a map mode set that is correct, but but it can be disabled. So the code actually selectively enables disables the map mode. Um, so it it sometimes it, it it is in the correct one, but it is completely disabled. So there is no conversion going on. Your 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 numbers are one to one. So when you for, when you render something, um, whatever units it has for the offset where it, where it begins and its size and everything, it it essentially um, is is being multiplied by one, and nothing changes. So you get exactly the same numbers on your device. Uh, sometimes it is enabled and there is a conversion going on, so you get a different number, you get a different position, you get a different scale. Um, and this is happening essentially throughout the whole rendering stack. And you don't know when it is happening and how. Some things, ha some things work just by accident. Some parts of the code explicitly set the, the, the map mode um, to a certain thing. Some parts, they, they just reset it. Um, redundantly, so you, you actually don't need to do that, but but we're doing anyway. Okay, so any 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 change, and things break. Essentially, you you have no guarantees. You don't have any any control on anything. Everything is manual. Everything is uh, um, is, is is custom, um, um, and and special special case. Now, what what we want to do is we wanna we wanna actually make sure that everything works in, in pixel mode for tile rendering. And we want to make sure we don't touch and we don't break the desktop because the desktop, again, it, it, we don't want regressions. So, so you only want to selectively say, I'm in tiled mode, uh, change the map mode to pixel. And you need to do that and make sure that whatever you're rendering is happy to work in, in, in pixel mode, okay? So it's not just the map mode that you need to change, you also need to make sure that your rendering is working. Now, again, you have a solution, but you don't have an approach. How, how do you find all these places? Okay, so this is, this is the algorithm I came up with. Um, I just dump, essentially, the, the, the map mode details, which hopefully is gonna give me a clue as to what, um, um, what, what numbers I should, I should get out of the conversion from logic to uh, physical um, uh, coordinates. And I do this and I run um, and I find a case that renders incorrectly in, in tiled versus the desktop which renders perfectly fine. And if, and if I do that, I get a log and then I, I just diff the log. So I spend a, a lot of time in essentially, um, you know, a, a merge tool or something that gives me a diff, um, and then I can selectively try and find, you know, which part the numbers started to, to change, 
and then find that code and, and try to figure out what's going on. And this is a repetitive thing, and you know, I'm essentially binary searching um, where do things diverge and try to you know, figure out how to fix that. But even then, um, I'm, not, I'm not able to, to you know, get 100% um, uh, um, correction, and I'm, I'm gonna talk a little bit about that um, later. So this is, this is the results that I got after I did that for a while. Um, I was able to find a, you know, the, the correct location where the, the button and the, the image rendering need the correct map, the correct map mode. I set that, and you know, it, it's essentially a few lines of code that, you, that I need to, to plug in the right place, um, but it, it took me um, um, the good part of a week. Um, so you, you can imagine how, how expensive this is. And this is a tile that I'm, you can see I'm not rendering from the top most um, you know, of, the, of the, um, the document. So it's, it's a random position and I'm still getting it rendered correctly. So I'm, now I'm very happy and I push the patch, okay? And after pushing the patch, I open another document and this is what I see. You see that, that, that little guy up there in the corner? That's actually a, a graph, okay? And that is completely messed up. It's just wrong scale, wrong position. And it, it actually gets better. W if you zoom in and out this document with this bug, that thing starts to move and, and grow and, and shrink with your zoom, okay? And why is that happening? Because its scale is, is wrong and it is changing with the zoom of the, 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 the document, it's your view in general. So, okay, that's not working, but everything else is, seems to be fine. You see the text is rendered correctly and you get the image in the right place. So I have another special case that I need to work on. And so, okay, this is clearly, we can't spend a week to find every special case like this um, and, and fix it. So I go back and, and create my, my logs and, and, and re essentially recreate my, my testing uh, environment. Um, but what, is, what, what has happened is actually far worse than I was, was you know, hoping that would happen. Um, because of the fix that I put in for the image and button, I actually changed everything. I changed everything down, down, you know, downstream from that point on in the rendering stack because I, I am changing the map mode. So now the coordinates are completely different. So I, I need to have a special case where maybe before fixing the image and button cases, I didn't need, okay? So maybe the graph was actually working without my map mode change because it, it just accidentally happened to be in the correct um, um, you know, mode. So, so nothing was, was wrong with it. But I broke it, in fact, because, again, this code, it's, it's all implicit stuff, and somebody's doing, you know, logic to physical, and it expects to be in, in the correct scale, correct units, correct um, origin, and everything. Um, so I need, essentially, to start from scratch every time that I touch um, the map mode in, in the rendering stack, okay? So I, I just have to do everything all over again, uh, every time that I change anything, every time that I find a special case, I need to repeat. This is the end result after I'm done with it, after um, a little over two weeks later, um, I get to a place where I'm, I'm really happy because um, now we have a fast rendering for any tile anywhere, okay? It's essentially a const rendering. There, there is, there is no, no more um, a, uh, a factor or a, a coefficient to, dependent on the position, and we're pretty much, you know, the same performance as the desk. So there is a very slight overhead that we have, but um, this is this is actually n not real numbers. It's, it's just for illustration. Obviously, um, you, you don't get the same numbers on every machine. Um, so what is what is the, the you know what is the real solution here? Um, the real solution is that you should only set the map mode on on your device. And the device is actually an abstract concept. Just set it once, and you don't really need to know what device you're rendering on, which, which seems to be the case. Everybody's you know, happy with that. So why do you need to know the, 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 the coordinates of your device? And why do you need to change it? And why do you need to, you know, to customize it? So ideally, we shouldn't, we shouldn't be doing that. But we don't live in an ideal world. 
Um, in, in practice, um, you want to have a, uh, um, an, even, an even better thing. You want to have all devices to support your uh, you know, most generic, most um, sensible units, OK? So that not only all you know, the devices, they have the map mode set once, but, but also that you're, you know your rendering is in a, in a single unit, in a single coordinate system. And then everybody is able to you know, um, debug and understand the coordinate system because not only they are uh, abstract, but, but also they are the same. And this will give you a very high precision in terms of you know, how you're rendering and w where you're showing your stuff without any problem. Now you can support anything, you know, um, you know with including anti-aliasing for text, for images, for graphs, anything fancy you want, because this coordinate system is, is precise enough, essentially. Um, so we, don't, we can't do that. Why? Because apparently it's really, really difficult. And uh, because it is difficult, we've spent a lot of time, and a lot of people actually try to fix it. There are a lot of special cases, and removing these map modes from you know, every, every single special case is breaking everything. Um, the reason is you know, the code is so complex that it, 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 it just, you know, one part depends on the other, depends on the other. So you can't just remove a single map mode and then figure out how you're gonna fix it and move to the next one. You, you need to change a whole bunch of them and then everything falls in the right place and it works. Otherwise, you have a case that works, but you have a lot of regressions and, and, and nobody's gonna be happy. But I'm fairly confident there is somebody out there who can figure it out, how, how to do it, because we really need to fix this. This is, this is broken in core um, in a very fundamental way, and anytime anyone needs to touch it, we'll, we'll just have to go through pretty much the same, the same agony. Um, so with that, um, thank you, and questions?